In this video series, we are going to study science chapters of grade 10 SEE exams. Now we are going to study physics chapter, electricity and magnetism. So in this series, we have been solving questions of your set book, one of your set books. Now we are going to study working of bicycle dynamo and working of AC generator. These are group D questions, four mark questions. So in these questions, sometimes you are asked to label the parts in the given diagram. Diagram will be given and you have to label the parts and you have to explain. Sometimes uh, you have to draw the diagram, okay? So you need to know both diagram, drawing of diagram as well as explanation, okay? Now we'll see working of bicycle dynamo. Bicycle dynamo is a device which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. It works according to principle of electromagnetic induction, okay? So this is a device which is used in bicycle to produce light, okay? Now... Uh, we'll see the structure before start studying working. So bicycle dynamo is made up of magnet, permanent magnet. Magnet is suspended at this position with the help of axle and there is a cap at the top of axle. Okay, so cap rotates in this manner when bicycle tire starts rotating. Okay, now close to the magnet there is a coil and coil is made into complete circuit by fitting with a bulb. Right, and this whole arrangement is kept inside a container, okay. So the bicycle dynamo can be protected, okay. Now, the working uh, when bicycle starts moving, there will be rotation in the tire. This rotation will make the cap rotate in this manner, okay, because cap is in touch with the tire, yes. So, rotation of the cap will make the magnet rotate in its own axis in this manner. And when magnet rotates, there will be change in magnetic flux. Okay. So now, now north pole is over here. Next moment, north pole will come, will come the side. South pole will go over there. So this way, change in position of the magnet will cause change in magnetic flux. When magnet is in this position, maximum uh, number of lines of force will be passing through the surface of the coil. So maximum flux. When magnet comes to this position while rotating, minimum number of lines of force will be passing through the surface of the coil. So that is minimum flux. Okay. So this maximum minimum will, uh, you know, keep changing, continues and that induces current in this coil. Right. And because of that current, bulk can be, uh, you know, it can be made to work. Right. So you see in this device mechanical energy is changing into electrical energy. When magnet stands stationary without moving, there will be no current producing in the coil. Yes, there will be no current in the coil. But when magnet starts rotating, when magnet will move this mechanical energy moving, mechanical energy, kinetic energy, that is mechanical energy, will produce current in the coil that is electrical energy so mechanical energy changing into electrical energy in this device right and the whole process is electromagnetic induction okay so if you have to produce a stronger current then to make the ball brighter then the speed of rotation of the magnet should be increased okay it has to be made faster in rotation or by increasing the number of turns in the coil also, you know, current, stronger current can be produced, okay. There are other ways also like using the stronger magnet, okay. By decreasing distance between these two also, yes, these are the ways by which more current can be produced in this device, right. So this is the working of bicycle dynamo. Bicycle dynamo produces comparatively less amount of current, okay, yes. Whereas this device produces large amount of current, right? So this is the electromagnetic induction process on the whole. <clears throat> now we'll go to the next part that is working of AC generator. So AC generator is also the device which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy, right? Okay, so the, uh, you know, current supply which we have in our homes, that is because of this process, right? Electromagnetic induction. This device work according to the principle of electromagnetic induction, right? And uh, you know this produces large amount of current and this device is used in hydropower stations, okay? 
uh, the current which we have in our homes that is produced in hydropower stations and in hydropower station this device is used to produce current right now the structure we'll see the structure of this device uh, there are magnets two magnets okay north pole and south pole to create magnetic field uh, yes magnetic lines of force will be passing from north pole to south pole always right and there is an armature in the middle armature is made up of insulated copper wire and that is made into rectangular shape okay there are two ends of armature over here two ends are fitted with rings okay these are called slip rings ring one and ring two okay ring one for this end ring two for this end these rings do not touch each other and do not touch each other's wire also okay yes and there are brushes carbon brush carbon brush this brush is you know conductor of electricity this can conduct current so brush one brush two brush one for this ring brush two for this ring okay so these carbon brushes collect current and this pass into the circuit and the circuit is made complete by using galvanometer okay this is a complete circuit and this is there is a galvanometer okay to detect the current flowing in the circuit so these are the parts of AC generator now we'll see it's working now what we have understood is from electromagnetic induction there is a magnet you know magnetic field north pole and south pole magnetic lines of force are passing from north to south yes so in this magnetic field if you make a coil move up and down close coil then current will be induced in this coil this is electromagnetic induction the same principle is working over here actually it is the same thing the only difference is instead of single insulated copper wire over here there is a rectangular frame of insulated copper wire that is the only difference now in order to induce current in the circuit this coil this armature should be made move upward and downward okay there should be movement in this armature so how are we going to do this this armature is made to rotate in this magnetic field while rotating it produces current and that current is alternating current alternating current means in the first case current will be moving from from here 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 to here complete round second moment from here back just opposite okay from here to here 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 and here complete rotation okay complete cycle so current will be flowing from you know both the ends from here to there and next time there to here right so that is why it is alternating current okay producing device right so how armature rotates around to produce alternating current we will see here right so this is armature at armature rotates around yes there is an uh, uh, axle axis to make the armature rotate yes this axis is fitted with a turbine turbine rotates around all the time with the help of flowing water water is made to uh, you know fall on the turbine and turbine rotates okay that is why it is hydropower it is used in hydropower station right so uh, falling water on the turbine will make the turbine move and that turbine in turn will make the armature rotate okay so that is why hydropower it is used in hydropower station so rotation of armature produces alternating current how does it happen we'll see here when armature rotates this side of the armature and this side of the armature this will be cutting lines of force in perpendicular manner okay and this movement will cause change in magnetic flux okay magnetic flux will be maximum minimum maximum minimum this change will take place all the time right so that induces current in this circuit right now we'll see here let this be the initial position of armature now it will start rotating it, it has a start rotating it has started rotating this way okay while the armature is in this position maximum lines of force will be passing through this so maximum flux okay and it comes to this position half circle is finished right so when half circle is finished current will be flowing from here to here okay and again next the now this is the half circle complete the now complete circle okay 
because it has come to the initial position. So, in this half circle, current will be flowing from here to there. Okay. Opposite direction of the first one. So, this way, current will be flowing from here to there. First round, second round, here to there. That is why alternating current. Now, this frequency complete cycle is shown over here. This is the complete cycle. So, when armature makes complete cycle, it will be, uh, you know, making the current flow in this manner from year to year, half circle, from year to year, half circle, so that complete circle, okay. So, from this end to this end, again this end to this end. So, alternating current will be produced in this manner, okay. So, current is flowing from year to, from year, from year to year, 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 year and back to the same position, okay. So, the current carrying in this coil will be collected by this rings, okay. Rings will not move, rings will be in this position only and this carbon brush is in contact with the ring all the time, right, while ring is rotating around and current will be collected by this brush and it will be given to the circuit, okay. And this also doing the same thing. So, this way there will be flow of current continuously in this circuit. Okay. So, this is the way of working of AC generator. Right. If we have to uh, increase the magnitude of induced current, then the rotation of armature should be made faster. Okay. By increasing the speed of this rotating armature or by increasing the number of coil in this armature, copper coil. Yes, insulated copper wire or by using stronger magnetic field. Okay, these are the ways by which a magnitude of induced current can be increased. Yes, this is the way of working of AC generator.